three ways to protect your energy. If you are an energetically sensitive person, you can think of yourself as a little sticky ball of light rolling along the floor that we call life. This floor is really dirty, filled with toxic people, places, things, bad diets, bad habits, all sorts of factors, stress and life, everything. And here you are, this beautiful little ball of light, rolling along, collecting hair, dust, food scraps, everything, and you're just getting cluttered up with junk in your auric field. That's why when you have a great healing session with someone, you feel amazing for a little while afterwards. It's basically like they've picked you up, cleaned all that stuff off you, and then put you back down on the floor to keep your little journey going ahead. But unless you know how to protect your energy, you're just going to soon start picking up all that crap again. And this is where self-protection techniques create like a little Teflon field around you. My three favorite ways to do it are using crystals. That's my first one. If you're a crystal fan, I recommend any of the darker crystals like smoky quartzes, black tourmaline, amethyst is really good, labradorite or labradorite, depending on how you say it, pyrite. There's so many crystals that you can use. Just get tumbles, pop them in your pockets and bras, whatever. Or if you prefer jewelry, that's also fantastic as well. You can Google crystals for protection. The other favorite one of mine is your intention or prayer, depending on your religious beliefs. Ultimately, the power is in your intention. So whether you want to call on a particular archangel like Michael, he's fantastic. Or just set an intention and visualize a bubble of white light or an octahedron, which is a 3D diamond shape. Visualize a white light in that shape around you calling in your highest self for protection of anything that is not here for your highest good and clearing away anything that has its origins in fear and hate. My last one is actually doing something. Easiest one is put your fingertips together. It closes off your energy circuits. It creates like a little loop of energy within your body. And you can easily do that while you're talking to toxic people. You can just be sitting there having a meeting with someone and keep your fingertips together and it looks quite normal in your lap. So why I do this? From my perspective as an energy healer, I can't even begin to tell you the number of times or even just the amount of time I spend first in pretty much 99% of sessions just clearing away someone's energetic mucus or clutter, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's just like this gunk that's being picked up. Most sessions, 99% of people have this. There's only a very few people who are very diligent in doing energy protection or have the luxury of finances to be able to afford to have weekly or monthly energy healing sessions. Not everyone is in that position, but we can all easily do something with our intention or our actions with fingertips. It doesn't even have to cost you any money. It's about having that intention to be protected, sending back the energy that is not here for you and helping to develop healthier boundaries. Because most of my time as a healer is spent clearing that off when the session could easily be spent taking that person to the next level of their journey. So the more you can be um, diligent and practiced in maintaining your own energy protection techniques, every time you then go back to your healer, they'll be able to take you to a whole new level. And then that great clean feeling that you get from your session actually lasts longer. So because remember, if you're like a little sticky ball, after your session with me, I'm only going to have to be able to put you back down into the the floor of life and it's up to you to make sure you're maintaining a little bit of a teflon coating to help prevent for as long as possible from picking up more crap into your auric field and the more diligent you are with these practices the longer that lasts now with crystals easy enough you can just have them on your body pretty much all day every day i would recommend cleansing them quite regularly and recharging them under the full moon to make sure they're nice and strong with anything that's intention based, I tell my students to make sure you're doing it multiple times a day. I encourage it to do it every time you go to the toilet. Because when you're in the private cubicle or at home or wherever you are, you've got a few minutes to yourself, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry for all the parents out there. Um, but you can take that opportunity just to reconnect with your intention to visualize some sort of protection around you. And for those of us who just prefer to do something, then you can just do that as you go. But part of that is also your intention that you're subtly setting a strong energetic boundary as you're doing that. So those are my three favorite ways to do energy protection, but I can't be the one to do it for you. You have to be the one to get into the practice of doing these steps. And I recommend doing them multiple times a day until it becomes second nature and you can just do it straight away. And you will find your life improves so much. You'll be able to maintain that great feeling you get from a healer for a lot longer. 
you'll notice that the stress at work and the toxic people around you, sure they might flare up initially because they're suddenly not being able to sap you of energy, they may not understand what's going on, but trust me, long term you will feel so much better because you won't be carrying everyone else's crap, you'll just be dealing with your own stuff, which is more than enough for all of us to deal with at the moment. If you're someone who never used to do energy protection and now you do it as a kind of a daily habit, if not weekly habit, I would love to hear if you've noticed how it's changed your life. I know for me personally it did. I can't even begin to express the difference energy protection and learning how to clear energy has made in my life, but I always love to hear about other people's experiences as well. So let me know in the comments below.